Hi guys, today I am going to show you how to do image denoising or image noise removal using Convolutional Neural Network or CNN in MATLAB. So as we all know that for doing image denoising and for constructing the Convolutional Neural Network we first we need to train the network then only we can check out our input data so for that we need to collect some images so I have collected some images and I have keep all those images in the inside the folder and named as datas so I have collected some flower images so these are my training images then I have taken on test images also so this is the cameraman image which I am going to test so now I am opening the MATLAB so this is the MATLAB program window put the initial commands then we need to read the or load that images with the help of image data store so we need to load the folder uh, position where that, where that training file is there so these are the command image data store then denoise image data store so this is nothing but denoise image data store it is automatically applying some Gaussian noise in, in the original data store images so inside the training image automatically it is applying some uh, Gaussian noise for make it make it the original image into noisy one so now we have two data so one is original data another one is noisy data after that we are going to design our layers so this first layer is image input layer after convolution layer after rectified linear unit again convolution rectified convolution rectified linear unit and the fourth convolution then final one is the regression layer so these are the layers I have designed to denoise it. after that we are providing the training options minimum batch state 32 maximum epoch 20 initial learning rate then plotting the training progress then we are going to train so training is nothing but just we are giving the data original and noisy one so train network is equal to dnds this is the noisy data and this is the layer this is the training option so output of this uh, line number 46 we are getting the trained data then after training we are providing our input data we are providing our input data cameraman that if this is our uh, which one input image which, which we are going to denoise it then we are applying the noise Gaussian noise then we are plotting it then denoise image is equal to noise comma convenient the trained model comma our input image finally we are getting the denoised image after that we are finding the PSNR value also so this is the total program for how to do the denoising so first loading our original data then automatically we are converting into noise one after that we are designing the layers then we are training it after that we are testing it our input data so now I am going to run the program now the program has been started to run initially it is taking all the files from that folder that is data it's taking all the files from this folder named as datas then it will apply one by one in the inside the layers now it's getting busy started to run so these are the layers we designed now the training is started and the training is progress you can see that in the x label iterations and the y label loss and the rms values in the command window also you can see that too. i 
I have given 20 epoch so it, it will take some time to run now the epoch 2 only completed out of 20 now the epoch 10 is completed and the training is still going on now the training is going to completed the training is completed now the testing is going on going on now we can see the differences So this is our outcome. So this is the noise image and this is the denoise. You can see the difference how the all the noise has been removed from the noise one. So it's look awesome. So also we are getting the PSNR values 29.22. Uh, so And in terms of clarity, it look nice. Wow. Okay, likewise, we can design our own network to uh, remove the different kind of noise like Raleigh or Russian noise also. This is a simple program. So, like this, we can use it for the different, different applications for noise removal also. So, I hope you understand everything. If you have any doubt, you can contact me through email or WhatsApp. Okay, thank you. Thanks for watching.